Are you currently working from home and still need to sync your OneDrive files to your computer? I'm Ronnie Wong and I want to show you how to do that next. Working from home can be challenging, especially when you have to actually work on files with other people. Well, when those files are actually hosted in OneDrive, you can sync those files down to your computer as well and work with them as you need to. Let's show you how to get that set up. So the great thing is, if you're on a Windows 10 computer like I am right now, this will allow you to actually work with the sync a little bit easier. If you're on a Mac, you'll have to download the app, of course, from Microsoft for the Mac computer. But on a Windows 10 machine, all I have to do is actually go to the type search here and type in OneDrive. And if I do that, I should find the actual file here somewhere. Let's see if that actually gives me the file that I'm looking for. Oops, okay, actually, in the, there it goes. Okay, I was gonna say it's some, as soon as you type it in, if it's not set up, it should bring you here is what I should say, okay? So from this point, let me go ahead and type in my information and click sign in. Let's say we're from work or school. And here in a moment, it may ask me to go ahead and enter in my password. And also, if you're working at home, you may have to do the multi-factor authentication, which I do. So in a moment, I should receive a message that actually tells me that I need to sign in another way. And I'm going to actually get it on my Microsoft Authenticator. I'll approve. And you'll see it's actually going to sign in for me. So once everything's actually set up, this is where OneDrive itself is going to connect to our computer and the software that's on our computer to go ahead and just start the download process to get everything synced up. Now, one of the things that they're actually doing to make it faster, of course, in this time is that everything was going to be available by default as available online. These files don't take up any space on this device until you actually download them. You, of course, can go ahead and make them available on the device or you can actually ensure that you can always work with them easily by not uh, downloading when you need them, but going ahead and downloading them now. So that's all up to you. I'm just gonna leave it at the default. I'm gonna click next here. It's gonna ask if I wanna actually have this on my mobile device. I'm gonna select later, and let's go ahead and open up the OneDrive folder. So at this particular point, you'll end up seeing that it does have these options. Now, you'll see that there's a couple of icons here. One says OneDrive, and that's going to be default for a personal OneDrive that you may have on your own outside of your company. But mine is with IT Pro TV, and the only thing that this is doing currently is connecting me to my account for my own personal drive, if you want to, inside of OneDrive itself online. Okay, and You'll see it's actually populating everything that it needs to. It's actually doing it relatively quickly. Okay, Now, Mine's actually a relatively big OneDrive account. Let me show you how you can see that. And then we'll show you how you connect to your personal file, your uh, shared files as well. So in a moment here, I'm going to go to settings. So I right clicked on that icon. I selected settings. And you can see right now it's like 127 gigs out of a terabyte. To try and download that is not exactly what I want, but it's actually just making me, uh, putting me in that link that I need to. And you'll notice that she says it's syncing right now, which is perfectly fine. We're gonna leave that one alone for right now. Then we're going to connect for those shared uh, files that we need. So now that that's going, I can come down here to explore. And you of course have access to your, uh, your OneDrive through your Office 365 uh, uh, subscription that you have access to. And once you're there, you're going to select where it actually says shared libraries on the side, whatever team that you're working with or those files where you normally would go, those are the ones you're looking for. And from that point, we're gonna follow my breadcrumb trail here, right? Documents, edutainers, test. I created this test folder as well as a subfolder called marketing. Inside the marketing folder, I created these four documents for us to go ahead and test. Now, if you select these documents, you'll notice that at the top of the screen that the sync icon disappeared. If I uncheck it, you'll notice it actually appears again. So this is now actually where we want to be. Whatever files you want to sync, this is what you want here. So I can click on sync 
And now it's gonna say, hey, did you mean to switch apps? I'm gonna say yes at this point. And now it's actually going to say, hey, what else is going on? And then we can minimize the actual web browser there. Now over on the left-hand side, you'll now notice that there's three icons. This one would actually be for my personal OneDrive that I have outside of work. This one right here is going to be what I just told you, my own personal OneDrive inside my work. And you can see all those folders that I work with on a daily basis, not every single one of them, but what I've worked with over time. And now you might even see another icon, and this one's a little bit different. Mine's in the shape of a little tiny building with another building, and says IT Pro TV. So if I select this, and now you'll see, oh, there's a folder. It says IT Pro TV Marketing. If I double click in there, it is taking a little bit of time before it actually sinks down. So let's check out that syncing process. And it might be because, of course, my drive is actually still doing the syncing process that it needs to, but it is slowly, actually quickly counting down as we see the actual processing of changes. Now, once everything actually finishes the processing of changes here, it should actually kind of give me all those files that I need to. Oh, and, and there it is. You actually can see it's kind of tiny. Let me change the view here for a moment. So we'll actually go to extra large icons. So those actually did come in, and if I zoom in, you can see that they are synced up now for us in the way that they need to be. Now, this one right here, this is a OneNote notebook and that's why it's not doing anything. I don't really have any of the applications installed in here, but if I did, those would also show, of course, in the icons that are actually associated with as well. So that's how we actually can sync up those shared files that we need to when we're actually working at home uh, during this particular unusual and uncertain time. Now, there's only one other uh, uh, warning or I guess, uh, advice that I would actually ch uh, choose to tell you as well. Okay, When you're working with these types of applications on your own computer and you go ahead and save it, remember it takes a little bit of time before it will actually end up showing up for everybody else. So give it a few minutes, maybe even let your coworkers know that you've made some changes and that those should be syncing up. So as long as you've actually done that, you actually end up seeing the change that you need to, but if they open up the document and it hasn't done that, in other words, it hasn't updated the way you wanted to, just tell them to give a few minutes. It might took a bit of time, but once it actually did uh, sync up, everything's actually gonna be working perfectly fine from now on. And that's how you can work from home and also sync up your files in OneDrive. Check out the playlist for more working from home tips and be sure to subscribe to IT Pro TV channel. I'm Ronnie Wong and thanks for watching.